Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're gonna do something a little different. Uh, I'm on the outside of the Shed of Solitude, as you can see here. Um, this is normally where I sit right here. But anyway, some of what this video is about today. Today, we're talking walking sticks. And uh, I'll try not to make this too long, but uh, we'll start here with this one. This is from Cold Steel. Uh, and I, of course, will leave links down below so you can check them out. But uh, this is more of a self-defense, as you can see. This here is uh, quite the club. This is the first one I got, and I used this once walking about the neighborhood. And that's what the name of the stick is. It's called the Walkabout. It's made out of this uh, type of plastic. I forget the name of it off the top of my head. But this is pretty good, except there's one problem that I ran into. It's this, and this is, as you can see, it's scuffed because I was walking around on the street and it, it tends to slip, um, which isn't good, <laughs> but it isn't bad. You can remedy, the, remedy this with, I think it's a one inch round uh, rubber stop that you can put on the end and it's not so bad. And this is a good stick. I like this, as you can see, it's more of a cane, really. Not a stick. It does stick in the ground pretty good, which I like. Um, but this is a good stick. And the reason I got this one is when I started my walks, you never know who you're going to run into. Not that this neighborhood's unsafe. I don't think anything like that. But there's a lot of critters and dogs. <laughs> um, and I love animals, but all is fair when you come after me. That's what's gonna happen. You know, there's uh, coyotes, there's uh, foxes. What else do we got around here? Fisher cats, those are always fun. Um, blue jays, just kidding. Um, and there's other larger dogs, Not, and most of them are friendly. There's a couple of pit bulls in the neighborhood that are friendlier than my dog. Um, my brother has pit bulls and they were always friendlier than my husky and my English bulldog. But, uh, you know, this will definitely knock someone's head and or animal clean off the head, probably. Um, but this is a good stick. I just don't use this as often. Um, but I do like, it's very comfortable. Like this is great. You can lean on it. This is a, a good grip. This handle right here, the club end, uh, it's made to basically take a swing. I thought it was going to hit my camera there. Thank God I didn't. But, uh, yeah, this is a good one. I like this one, but, um, for the walks that I do, this doesn't really... Now, I would probably use this if I went downtown Providence. It's a little, it could be a little shady there. <laughs> um, I would probably bring this uh, more than the next one that I'm going to show you, which is my favorite stick. And you've seen it yesterday's video. And uh, we'll discuss that now. Now this, as you can see, oh, look at that. I think the hawk's out. Anyway, sorry, I get distracted by birds very easily. Um, and as you can see, this is a Brazos walking stick, and it comes up to about, it's about like 55 inches. So it comes up to my chest here. And this stick, I love. Now this is the perfect lunting stick uh, for my fellow tobacco pipe smoking friends. This is actually from a tobacco barn. And they took this stick, it used to dry the tobacco leaves. And I'll leave a link to the video describing all that so you guys can check it out. Um, so when I was looking for sticks, I had to get this one because in my mind, this is a perfect lunting stick to walk around your neighborhood on the trail, smoking your pipe. And you know, it's, it used to dry out tobacco. So it's pretty cool. Now this stick, as you can see, is more of a hockey stick. Really? That's what it reminds me of when I'm walking. Sometimes I want to grab it and just take a slap shot. Like I used to back in the day. Um, there is some flexibility it's a strong stick um and if you were in a situation it's gonna it's gonna cause uh some discomfort not as much as that one that one will knock your head off this one's good for getting people away maybe taking a swing at the head it's gonna it's not gonna feel good it's not gonna tickle um but as you can see now you can customize these i got the american flag there and then you see the logo for brazos and then you get this little uh tether lanyard and their logo on here and i typically i didn't think i would use this i honestly i was going to rip this off um but this comes in handy when you're walking about and this stick 
the way it's designed like a hockey stick holding it like this after a while you can get fatigued especially when you're digging in you can kind of feel it um and this you can kind of just rest your hand on and just use it to walk along and it's pretty cool now this one comes with the rubber stop which is great uh, i initially wanted a spike because i wanted it with ice conditions and and whatnot around here i just wanted to dig in but this works really really well the only time you have a problem obviously with ice and sand especially you slip with this but it's better than that um i don't know if you could uh no you probably couldn't hear i have to do a video where i'm walking on the street you can kind of hear hear this but you don't hear the clunk of this is like a like a like you can tell there's a difference between the two but anyway um this is a great stick i love this stick i love the height of it it's like a it's not quite staff but it's a stick it's it's what you want um great for leaning on like this i don't know if you could hear me there but um this is great um you can see this is where your handle is it's rounded so it's comfortable when you're, you're grabbing it but you can get fatigued um and if you saw yesterday's video as i showed when i was going down the hill this is great for going downhill it takes especially around here we got a lot of hills and rocks and stuff and when uh, the birds are going crazy um look at the sparrows <laughs> um around here when we and especially when i got bad knees and bad back when you're going down the hill you throw this out in front of you it just takes the shock off of like when you step of like when you're coming down a hill and whatnot it takes a lot of that out and uh same thing yesterday when I was going down an even steeper hill with roots and rocks every which way. You throw this out and you get enough to walk down and you're good. And even going uphill, this pulls you right up. When you, when you plant it, you just pull yourself up. It's great. I love these things. I'm so happy I got a walking stick. I recommend them. Now this right here, I was thinking of putting some paracord, just looping it around. Uh, so I even thought hockey tape. Um, but I really don't want to do that because this wood is got a lot of history and uh it's getting even more history with me walking about and uh exploring things in rhode island but uh there are other sticks i'm gonna get uh from brazos and unfortunately brazos just had a fire in their warehouse so getting a stick now uh, i will put a link so you can try to get one i think you can order them but you won't get it right away um and like i said you can customize them have different tips and everything this particular one you can't you have to go with the rubber stop and it's funny I thought when I'd got this I thought I was gonna pop this off and just have the wood but it would have been the same situation as this and this being wood it would have started to splinter the wood and rip apart at the end of the wood so I would keep this on there um and see some wear and tear this is this is good but yes definitely get if you're into walking around lunting I highly recommend getting the stick and uh, I absolutely love my walks now this adds to it it's good for pacing mostly um, so if I had to break it down why I get the stick initially it was for self-defense in case I encountered a, a critter but that's very unlikely where I am or where I go um, I'm not saying that it wouldn't happen I'm more likely to get attacked by a coyote uh, uh, a fox or something like that maybe even a rabid raccoon but even that's pretty low so the next thing i noticed as i was walking is it really helped with the pace it actually picks up my pace more and it helps with the rhythm of, of my walking instead of just walking like i normally would the next thing is for my back and my knees when i go down hills mostly going down hills not so much going up hills but going down the hill this really helps from you know when you go down a hill i don't know maybe it's just me but when i go down a hill sometimes the way your feet are angled like this and you kind of get that thump in your back and your knees and you kind of feel it. this you just put it out and you just kind of gradually walk down the hill it's great it's perfect i love it and then going uphill it pulls you up you just plant and pull and it's good stuff but uh anyway that's all gonna be uh this is gonna be it for the video today stumbled on my words <laughs> um so yeah get yourself a walking stick if you're into walking around um i don't know how much weight i'll lose with walking but um i feel pretty good after a good walk so but anyway that's gonna do it for this video brazos walking stick 
Highly recommend it. Get one. I'll see you guys later.